What is up guys? Welcome to another weekly teardown. This week we are looking at Lunch Money. It's a really cool budgeting app that I actually saved a couple of months ago in my to, to try list of tools. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look at what's happening here. As usual, we are going to look at our alchemical transformation process here that I will link in the description below. And uh, we can see at a glance, this website does really well um, at persuading, clarifying, and uh, yeah, moving people through the value stage. Uh, it could use a bit of work at the beginning, at the initial stages of the funnel, I think. So when people land to actually empathize with them and guide them through the first few steps and also towards the end. So let's start with empathizing guides. So here we usually look at our, where does the traffic come from? So there's this interesting element here, this logo, Jamstab Conf, uh, web app of the year. I suspect that it's something recent, so they might have a lot of visitors coming speci specifically for this event. So it makes sense. The thing that stood out to me is especially the value proposition here. So it says delightfully simple personal finance and budgeting made for you, the modern day spender. So one thing that doesn't really resonate for me, and especially considering I'm basically the target audience because I can see digital nomads, engineers, designers, startup founders, high earning individuals, people like you. So I'm somehow fitting in some of these categories here, but I don't see myself in the modern day spender. It's kind of like a bit of generic and um, yeah, I might probably go and dig deep into their testimonials and is this how they define themselves? That, that would be the question that I would ask myself. Is this how they call themselves? I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure they would call themselves modern day spenders. And uh, what about delightfully simple personal finance and budgeting? Again, um, is the is simple the thing that they would like to improve? Is that how they would like to improve their personal finance? Is there something more specific that they can use? Um, again, I would dive deeper into the testimonials, which we'll see they have a lot of testimonials and see what the actual deeper benefit and deeper goal that these people have that we could use here at the beginning. What do they, how do they define the personal finance and budgeting that they would like, right? So this is uh, what I will look for to improve the value proposition. The second point here, prioritize our CTAs. So one thing that I noticed, especially when it comes to guiding people through the first steps when landing, I noticed the main calls to action here for the trial, use this kind of light green here. And then there are some uh, that look like this. In general, these are two main calls to action and then there's the outline one. So this green stands out, which is good. So in a way you could go for a totally unique color, which makes sense even though it's kind of outside the color palette here. So that's something that I might um, I might revisit. So maybe an orange or something a bit different rather than a, a variation of this of, a diff, of the same color, which is green kind of. But especially for these secondary call to action, I would probably just go with an outline, outline buttons here, just because there's a lot of things going on, a lot of links, you can see a lot of icons, a lot of different colors, and it might be distracting having so much going on. So just uh, deprioritize these secondary calls to action to make it clear where people need to go and where you want them to go, obviously. Uh, let's move forward. Navigation menu drop down could be simplified. That's one thing that I noticed here. So. Usually when I land on a website, one of the first things that I try to understand is, okay, how is the product structured? What is in the product that can help me, right? And it's kind of the same thing that happens for any e-commerce website. Um, when you land on a website, for example, you try to understand what is the range of products that they are offering. So what do they sell basically? 
And uh, I can see here under features, there's a lot of uh, individual feature pages. The thing that strikes me as a bit confusing is there's no real uh, like grouping that makes sense to me. It's a bit of like scattered features. Some are a bit generic, like web first support security. Other are, others are very specific, like crypto portfolio tracker, multi-currency. One thing that I would do would probably be uh, dividing the product in main areas. So looking at the, at the product dashboard, what are the main areas that users can access and use? It's usually based on use cases. And then divide this feature dropdown into use cases uh, that people can access to. Especially because if you look, if we look at the mobile version, we can see um, first this feature dropdown is already open, which is not ideal. Let me close this for a second. It's not ideal, but again, also when I jump into this menu, I get uh, I get all of this stuff here, which can be a bit confusing because I'm not entirely sure what I need to track. Why do I need to look at analytics right now? Maybe I'm not that advanced. So things to keep in mind and consider. Um, okay, let's go back. All right, so this is how I would improve the empathize and guide uh, section. Um, the other thing that we're gonna look at a bit later, but also it's probably worth mentioning here at the top of the funnel. Uh, I would make these uh, tables, pricing tables clickable, right? So because you tell them, okay, you offer a monthly subscription, the annual subscription, but then the main call to action is just the trial. So seems like the only way to start is to go through the trial, which makes sense but at least make it a bit clearer here at the top. Maybe have a button for both where it said start with a free trial or each table could be clickable or both. So just test that to see how it goes. Clarify and sway, this section does excellent. I think it's awesome. Uh, I only have one minor uh, point which is basically what I mentioned earlier uh, relating to the features section. If you go on the features page, you can see there's the, basically the index for all the features pages, which is good. But again, it's they're all kind of thrown out. Um, it doesn't really make much sense, uh, especially the first time that I'm looking at the product. So I can see, for example, if we jump here into the dashboard, there are a few sections, so why uh, not organize those uh, features by section, right? So you have accounts overview. Okay, this could be an excellent section that you can talk about and link to individual features from there. Then you have monthly spending, uh, spending breakdown. This could be an excellent uh, section to have, or you could talk about all that's happening inside. Uh, summary, another one, and then you have these individual ones. So just organize these features a bit better because it's kind of hard to understand where I need to start, um, where I need to end up when, I, when I'm trying to figure out how the product is uh, composed, what the product is composed of. Uh, as far as the, anything else, I just want to point out how great this section looks like, especially starting with resonating here with uh, the types of users. But then again, uh, we have a lot of social proof. So a lot of testimonials here. And when we go on the why users, why lunch money, um, it's basically kind of like a testimonial review page uh, dressed as a, a why us page, which I think it's genius. Uh, uh, and it basically, the, the genius thing is that it plants objections even before uh, people have them. So you might be wondering how can budgeting be both delightful and simple and easy at the same time. So this is a big objection that people might have, right? Which could also be used as we saw uh, for the value proposition on the homepage. Uh, this could be the angle, which right now doesn't really uh, stand out. So we can see specific testimonials, right? That's a thing that I love highlighted as well. 
um, help me chill out, really feel like a breath of fresh air, simple, managing money, super easy. So definitely one of the best testimonial sections that I've ever seen lately. So that's genius. Some may say it works again, specific testimonials. Uh, and there's loads, loads and loads and loads. And then videos even, which is awesome. The only thing that I would improve here would probably be, uh, and I mentioned it after, but let's say it now, just add a couple of call to action buttons in between to make it easier for people to get started, especially because I'm seeing that the, there's also no main call to action here at the top, which I would add and maybe make the menu, the navigation menu sticky. But let's see, if we look at mobile, we can see that there's no real buttons here. So there's a lot of scrolling to do before to, for getting started. So that's definitely something that I would add, but overall, awesome. Uh, shield and lead, again, main call to action, copy towards the bottom of the funnel could be more specific. So this, when we get towards the bottom of the funnel here, pricing, we can see again that it's good to have these calls to action more like call to value at the beginning of the website, but towards the end, I would be more specific. So start um, or try it free for 14 days or start a free trial now, something more direct and specific, because at this point, people should already know what the benefits are, the values or the value is. So just be direct and remove any friction, any potential um, thought that they might have and yeah, just get them to the finish line. Again, same thing here. I would add a call to action here near the pricing, start a trial now or something similar. Um, bu -bu -bu. And yeah, this is what we mentioned before. So on the white page, adding more calls to action, basically to guard them, protect them, shield them through, uh, and then lead them through the final stages of the funnel. The, uh, the other thing that they do really well here that I wanted to comment on, it's all of these kind of reassurance statements, also with links, which is great. A lot of companies just say stuff, but don't actually pack it up. So all of these are really good and in line actually with the values that the community. So you can totally see that they know their community really well and they are aligned with them that resonate with the with the people that they uh, sell to so it's really good all right so this is pretty much it this is a great example of how to persuade and move people just a couple of details but overall great job bunch of money